Hey guys, it's Carly Fairy Gutmother here, and today we are making an almond and herb crusted pork tenderloin over roasted cherries, apples, fennel, and peaches. This is the perfect all year round dish because you use summertime fruits like peaches and cherries, but also it's great for colder winter months because it's just a super warm and cozy dish. So to get started in making this pork tenderloin, right here I have some U.S. Wellness Meats pork tenderloin. These are all pasture raised, no hormones or antibiotics, really clean meats. Um, I've patted them dry with a paper towel and I'm just going to prepare a very basic glaze before uh, we do the almond and herb crust. So for the glaze, I have a little bit of bone broth here that is heated in this saucepan. And to this, I'm just going to add uh, about one to two tablespoons of local raw honey. Now, I love adding honey to most recipes as a sweetener. It's just a very nice natural source to sweeten really anything. Uh, it's really anti-inflammatory, has a lot of health benefits. So we're just going to get this nice and melted in the sauce, adding in uh, about a couple tablespoons of olive oil. And then I'm just going to turn this on low and let this simmer a little bit until everything is nice and dissolved. In the meantime, I'm going to prepare the almond and herb crust. So I have about a couple cups of almonds here that I finely chopped in a food processor. So it's not as thin as uh, thinly chopped as like an almond flour, uh, a little bit coarser than that. So we're going to add these to a bowl. Add a couple tablespoons of fresh chopped thyme, then about a tablespoon of sea salt, and then we're just going to mix this all up. So again, it's just a very basic uh, crust. Let's check on our sauce here. Awesome. So the honey is nicely melted. Everything is all combined in here. We're just going to add this to a bowl. We're going to just toss our pork tenderloins in this glaze here so that they're all nicely coated. And then once you've coated the pork tenderloins, we'll transfer them to our crust and just get them all uh, nicely uh, mixed in with this crust here so that all sides of the pork tenderloin are evenly coated. And you can use different nuts in this recipe too. You could do like cashews or hazelnuts, even rosemary and play around with different herbs. So the recipe is pretty versatile. Uh, so you can choose your ingredients to your liking. Okay, so here I have a baking dish with just a little bit of oil coated in the bottom here. And I'm gonna add some of our roasted fruits and veggies for roasting. So right here, I just have some chopped peaches and apples and cherries. Just going to line the bottom of this dish with some of our mixed produce here. Now fennel is also awesome for digestion. It's got a little bit of a black licorice flavor. I think it pairs really nicely with fruit, um, but it definitely helps aid in digestion, uh, high in a lot of vitamins and uh, nutrients. So fennel is awesome to add into any recipe. Okay, all of our fruits are nice and loaded into our roasting dish, and I'm going to just place our pork tenderloin on top of our fruit. Oh, these look amazing. So if you have a little bit extra of this almond crust, you can just coat the rest of this on top. Now our pork tenderloin is ready for the oven. We're gonna throw this in at about 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 minutes. So our pork tenderloin has cooked for about 30 minutes. I double checked it with my meat thermometer to make sure that the internal temperature was about 145 degrees Fahrenheit. I removed it from the oven and let it sit for about 10 minutes to continue cooking. And now I think it's ready to dig in. So I'm gonna go ahead and to prepare. This 
slice down the middle. It's an awesome color. This looks amazing. And it smells absolutely incredible. Again, this is one of my favorite all year round recipes. It's great in the summer. I love all of these summertime fruits in here, so we'll get some of those on the plate. But it's also really nice for cold winter months. Um, it's very a warm, cozy dish. Okay, now I have to give this a try. Get a little bit of the pork, some of the roasted cherries and peaches. Wow. That is amazing. You can really taste the herbs from the crust. The pork is super juicy and tender. Such an awesome dish. And there you have it. My herb and almond crusted pork tenderloin over some roasted fruits, cherries, peaches, apples, fennel. Super delicious, super simple recipe you can make any time of the year. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel for more cooking demos coming soon. Thank you guys so much for watching.